Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming part 2 of new perfume releases. You guys seem to really enjoy my previous video about a bunch of new releases. So I was just seeing more and more new releases on my Instagram. So I was like, you know what, let's go ahead and uh, do a part 2. So let's go ahead and jump right in with the first one. So the first one is uh, from Alice Brooklyn and it is called Vanilla Milk. And oh my god you guys. When I saw the notes, I was like, I need to buy this. I need to have this perfume like as soon as possible. I don't I don't even need to smell it, like I want it now. So actually I got an email today from Sephora and uh, it's ready to buy. I just saw it on Instagram yesterday that on Fragrance Watch, uh, it's an Instagrammer and I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I hope this comes out soon because I want it. So let's go ahead and talk about the notes. So this one is available already, like I said. And uh, with the notes you have, I don't think you guys are ready. So on the top you have creamy milk, then you have French or peony, you have peony rose, in the mid you have bourbon vanilla bean, Madagascar vanilla, and in the base notes you have benzoin, amiris, I don't know what that is, sandalwood, and musk. And oh my god, like this, that just sounds the most creamy, lactonic vanilla perfume just so so delicious um the so it only comes in two sizes which kind of sucks it comes in the 50 ml which is 105 dollars and a travel size 10 ml for 32 dollars so 32 dollars for travel size is a little bit pricey i think they used to be around 25 dollars and uh, they don't have the 100 ml available at all i don't think they make it so that kind of sucks. I mean, I have a lot of perfume, so I really don't need a big bottle. But uh, if you really like this perfume, you know, you would like to purchase a big bottle. So I think that's a little bit of the downside. So um, I will definitely, like, I would totally blind buy it. But I'm going to think, uh, I'm going to do smell it. I'm going to go into Sephora. I hope they have it available soon. I know it's online so far only. Um doesn't show available at any stores yet where I live so yeah anyway I'm super super excited for that one so the next one is another flanker uh, from fantasy from Britney Spears and it is called uh, Britney Spears naked fantasy so this is an order toilet uh, as always I will uh, insert pictures of all of the uh, perfumes uh, the bottle looks really really pretty um, so like I said it's an order toilet with the top you have Juicy citrus, black currant, apple cider. Apple cider? What the heck? I've never seen that in a perfume before. In the mid you have peach, osmentus, water lily. In the base you have apricot cupcake, vanilla, and musk. Sounds really, really good. Um, I actually just sold all of my Britney Spears fantasy perfumes, like three. Like, how crazy am I? Yeah, they're gone. I sold those. Um, so yeah the only thing is with these perfumes with the britney spears fantasy perfumes they are they they come out with so many new releases but i never see them anywhere in stores i don't even see britney spears where can you buy britney spears fantasy nowadays except of marshall's tg max or amazon like where can you buy it like obviously not sephora um not at ulta they do have celebrity perfumes at ulta like ariana grande um it's i guess it's a little, yeah celebrity perfume but I don't even know where you can buy it. So I'm uh, really curious about this perfume. But I don't know where um, where you could buy it. So that kind of sucks. But yeah. The bottle. Pretty. Looks like it has vanilla in it. So yeah. Uh, release date is um, September 15th. So yeah. So um, also I wanted to mention I'm using my ring light today. Because I've noticed like today again it's cloudy. And every time I film a video I usually film uh, during the daytime. Obviously with daylight. And it, my lighting has kind of just looked off in a way. So do you guys like the ring light or you guys like daylight? Just let me know. Uh, sometimes I feel like... I don't know. Sometimes I just don't like the way I look in a ring light. It makes me look really really pale. So I don't know. Just let me know. And yeah doesn't really matter right so the next one is a new release from Jean Paul Gaultier it's another scandal it is called a scandal le parfum looks like um, a lot of companies are coming out with a le parfum just like a YSL Libre le parfum I've mentioned in my previous video bottle looks really really pretty red I see vanilla so what do we have uh, we have 
uh, jasmine, salted caramel, black vanilla, honey, sandalwood, tonka bean, tuberose, orange blossom, rice powder. So that sounds really, really delicious. Um, I again just sold my um, Shawboko Tea Scandal a couple weeks ago. But this one looks really good with the jasmine and with the tonka vanilla caramel. That one looks really good, especially like for fall and winter. Uh, unfortunately, again in the United States, not really uh, so available, which uh, really sucks. But if I do get to smell that one, I am excited for that one. And another new release is from Mason Francis Kirk Dishan. I don't know if I pronounced that right, and it's called 724 724. Um, I'm not too interested in this one, to be completely honest with you. I will have the bottle inserted right here. Um, I think it is a unisex perfume. Of course, super expensive. Um, the 2.4 ounces runs for 275. So in the top you have Bergamot, Elderheights, um, I don't know how to pronounce that right, Egyptian Jasmine, Mock Orange, Sweet Pea, Freesia, Lily of the Valley, and in the base you have White Musk and Sandalwood. It sounds like a very uh, musky, fresh, Elderheidic, oh, I don't know how to pronounce that correctly, perfume. So um, not too curious about it to be honest with you. I'm not gonna run out and see if I can find a sample or anything uh, like that. So yeah, but I just wanted to throw it in here because I want to talk about the, all the new releases. So yeah, that one is from Mason Francis Curtis Sean. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got Kiali. That one is already available and it's called Lofest and that one I am actually really really excited for. Um, so with that one, uh, cherry is I think that thing that everybody puts in their perfume right now and I'm not mad about it because I love cherry perfumes. Uh, so what do we have? We have burning cherry, which is interesting. Um, bergamot, raspberry, I love a good raspberry perfume. Uh, in the mid you have rose, damascana, I have no idea. <laughs> Jasmine, samba, heliotrope, praline, um, and in the base of bunch of stuff that I cannot pronounce. Um, maybe I can insert the notes. I don't know if it's available yet on Fragrantica. Release date August 9th. So that has been out for around two weeks by now. So yeah, I am super excited for that one. And I think the bottle is really, really pretty too. Um, so let's go ahead and see what else is out there. So then we got another flanker uh, from Bur Burberry Her. It's called Elixir de Parfum. Um, so it uh, is, I don't have no idea when it will uh, come out. It says uh, year of release 2022. So another flanker, um, the notes, what do we get? Oh, that one, that one sounds good. Uh, we have red and dark berries, followed by mid notes of jasmine, and in the base you have vanilla and amber. So that one actually sounds really good. Really curious about that one, and I think the bottle looks really, really pretty too. Like this uh, muted pinky blush tone kind of um, color. So that one I'm actually pretty excited for. It's uh, when you look at the uh, family of the perfume, it's like a gourmand fruity. And if you know me, I love gourmand perfumes. And then another new release that a lot of people told me about in my previous video, I've seen it floating around on Instagram already, and it's from Prada, it's called Paradox. And let's see what kind of notes we have. Uh, I think a lot of people already were able to smell it in Europe. So I don't ever see like Prada perfumes much in the US, except of uh, Airport Duty Freeze as usual. They usually have everything, um, but if you look into um, Sephora or Ulta, I never see Prada. I don't think so. You know, I've seen it at Nordstrom before. At Nordstrom, I have seen Prada before. So what, oh my god, we have a lot of notes. It's like an amber floral perfume. We have uh, bergamot, tangerine, pear, neroli, jasmine, uh, amber. We have, what is that, Margasca premium bourbon vanilla infusion. Very interesting. And a white musk. So a lot of people were saying that it reminded them of Valentino Donnerborn in Roma or Valentino Voce Viva. I have those two perfumes and I love those two perfumes. So that one I'm really curious about. Yeah, that one sounds really, really good. And I'm sorry that I don't look at the camera a lot today. I'm looking at my phone because I want to, you know, share the notes and stuff. So please don't get upset because I don't look at the camera too much. Um, so yeah, let's see what else we can find. 
So very interesting, I found uh, Shivonshi came out with another Lintradit um, Eau de Toilette. So I have seen that I think they reformulated the uh, Eau de Toilette version. Uh, the bottle looks pretty much the same. I think it looks a little bit taller. So yeah, what do we got here with notes? We have orange blossom tuberose and leathery musk. Uh, if you know me, I hate leather in perfumes, so I don't know how I feel about that. So I guess they just reformulated it and came out with a new order to toilet version. It's already available at Ulta. There's no reviews yet. Um, the 2.7 ounces runs for $105, which is not too bad, to be completely honest with you. Um, I have the Lanter de Rouge, and I absolutely love this perfume. Um, I can't wait to wear it. It's definitely fall winter perfume, but I cannot wait to uh, bring that one out. So yeah, I'll definitely check it out. So that was it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed me talking about all these new releases. Uh, let me know if you were able to smell any of these yet. Uh, I can't wait to smell most of them. Uh, yeah, so please make sure you are subscribed to this channel. As always, please give this video a thumbs up. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.